hello and welcome back in this new video tutorial i'm going to show you how you can solve a power saving mode problem in your desktop pc when you connect lcd or monitor then you get this error but your pc work properly or when you put a graphic card external graphic card then you have this problem okay if you have old pc very old pc then you can think that you can clean the ram uh, or uh, you can remove components you remove first motherboard and um, all other things and clean them with blower or something else and then uh, you can uh, rebuild you can maybe solve the problems and then uh, it will work but uh, if you have new pc and you are feeling same error how you can solve this I see a lot of videos in uh, YouTube uh, that uh, almost everyone says uh, you can clean the RAM uh, and uh, then uh, it will work. But um, in my situation is different. I already tried that method but uh, I didn't get success. I'm going to tell you how you can get success for this kind of errors when you will have in your PC without clean the RAM, without uh, rebuild uh, your PC, without uh, remove any components, uh, cables, uh, something. Let's see how we can solve this without clean the RAM. Alright guys, I have this PC. Recently I built it. And everything I bought new one and uh, this PC I'm facing same problem power saving mode with the data behind the big uh, LCD LG I have two LCDs uh, for uh, experiment and to show you that uh, is not the problem uh, of RAM I bought everything separate 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 new one and uh, someone uh, when I face first time this problem power saving mode problem then I watch a video and uh, someone told that uh, you can clean the RAM with the razor. I did it. Um, I remove all my things. Uh, I get troubles uh, myself uh, because uh, first I build everything correctly and then I remove uh, cables, uh, power cable, this, uh, that. Uh, even then my problem not solved. So I disappointed and uh, I hope after you watch my video you will not be disappointed. Okay, first of all, I'm going to on my PC and I'm going to connect first this uh, small LCD with the, I have this converter uh, because in my LCD no have a HDMI option and uh, as you can see behind I'm using external graphic card and uh, this wire is uh, HDMI port coming and that down is power cable and upper keyboard mouse and here is my external graphic card uh, source and uh, I am going to connect with this converter to the VGA because here I have only VGA port ok I connected and now I am going to on and then we can check that if the display is coming or not. Okay, I'm going to on my PC. And we are going to check if the display come or not. This light is showing red still. And uh, you have to wait a little bit. Then we can check if it's work good or not. As you can see here my display come and the system running properly same PC same RAMs everything and PC is running perfectly I will try to show you everything clearly okay as you can see guys is working 100% perfectly this PC now I am going to connect the other LCD behind system I will not touch ok I just remove cable power cable and the
with ye cable okay this is uh, my lcd i have lg and uh, i face problem with this lcd because it was big so i want to use of course why not and uh, then i get problem same pc same everything so i get problem then uh, i think that what how can be first i follow the that people who told me clean the ram everything then i thought that uh, how can be because i bought everything new with packing and uh, how can be cannot be work okay as you can see here have two options the same and i'm going to connect the same cable same pc is still running and i'm going to connect if that uh, lcd work uh, properly this lcd must have to work also properly okay power saving mode gone finish and then this one is blinking exactly same you have problem right exactly same you have problem power saving mode come and then finish system is running properly so what you can think if is a ram problem but ram same ram same pc if i connect now with the other lcd it will work but i connect this lcd is uh, giving me power saving mode error so first of all is confirm that is not uh, the problem of uh, cleaning the ram cleaning any component uh, or pc this is another problem that's why i make this video to solve your problem because um, many people is facing this problem and uh, they are cleaning ram they are up, uh, unbuild a uh, um, unassemble pc then uh, reassemble uh, then uh, even then they are facing problems and they are disappointed and i hope after watch my video they will not be disappointed okay i'm going to solve now how first of all i'm going to show you once more same that uh, is uh, same uh, this uh, working or not okay i remove the lcd uh, cable of the vga cable and then i'm put, going to put again back when i remove cable you can see here coming a check signal okay because we couldn't connect the cable okay i'm going to reconnect again and when i connect reconnect again then i get same problem power saving mode and again blinking problem then okay i remove again power and this lcd it is not working then i'm feeling bad but of course not because i'm going to solve your problem okay this one if you connect back this lcd and uh, you can see it's working it's working perfectly same computer no clean i didn't clean ram but is working but with this uh, lcd not working so this is 100% clear is not problem of the cleaning ram so what is the problem then the time come now i tell you how you can solve same this lcd will work who's giving error power saving mode when we connect this okay first step is you have to ensure that when you connect 
this uh, power cable half problem uh, you found already if you use sensor how okay look at this i connect the power cable and then uh, lcd showing me display check signal so means lcd working properly okay how problem you found already what the lcd is working properly lcd no have issue when you connect this cable then everything go you can see here i'm going to connect okay i connect this and when i connect then that problem was uh, uh, that uh, when i connect then that was uh, signal showing is gone half problem we understand that is not the problem of ram okay what is problem then i'm going to tell you problem of the this converter this converter is not supported this converter is not very high quality and is not supported for big lcds maybe some lcds work some tv work but uh, this converter is not for all okay what you have to do then you have to use the other converter i'm going to try this one also one converter chinese converter and uh, this one i have to connect uh, this cable hdmi back to the graphic card and then i need the vg cable one port here and one port behind to the lcd this same lcd pc is running i'm not going to close i'm going to check is if it's work or not okay you can remove this cable hdmi cable and you can leave there then you can connect with this port hdmi to the back to pc okay then you need a vga cable simple vga cable this one one side you can connect here okay one side i connected vga cable with this uh, converter and the converter have hdmi whose i connected with the graphic card okay and this is other side of the vga cable is everything in front of you i'm not hiding anything from you because my video have 100% truth pc is running same pc same lcd lg lcd i'm going to connect now then we will check if our problem is solved or not okay this one other connector i connected and is done our problem has been solved same lg lcd same pc problem has been solved power saving problem has been solved so we in last what we can give result we find the problem because of this converter because this converter is not very high quality and not supported all kind of uh, lcds okay i didn't clean ram i didn't uh, clean anything i didn't uh, unplug the cables uh, of course before i did and uh, i spent a lot of energy a lot of time to rebuild my pc again and again uh, and uh, then uh, clean the new rams i clean two two times uh, but even then i didn't solve my problem power saving mode
but now you can see without clean anything same PC is running and I solve my problem and uh, this problem is permanent not uh, for a temporary solve no permanent you just have to change the converter if you are using uh, LCD or TV with the HDMI then you will not have this kind of problems and if you are using like me graphic card external graphic card and then uh, you have only monitor in which have a VGA port then you need a converter HDMI to VGA then you will connect but uh, make sure you have a correct converter whose uh, will work properly I don't prefer this one because this one giving error with the small LCD this LCD is working properly but that one big LCD not work and giving me power saving mode error and uh, as you can see guys uh, I solve the problem without clean the RAM I hope you will like my video if you like please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for all my upcoming videos notification automatically see you next time with more interesting new videos take care of yourself bye bye